Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. I'm Kathy Chenna with Tri-Cities Community TV. Special thanks to TELUS Optic TV for making this possible. And we are here at the Fountainhead Network um, offices. Thank you so much for this. Today's guest is a wood carving specialist who just found his hobby recently after retiring he took an amazing course right in the heart of port moody and learned how to carve cottonwood which he picks up from the fraser river welcome mike moore today thank hi you. how are you i hope i did a good intro for you Excellent. there a little thank bit you. over thank the top you. Well, not really because um i was in your home a few weeks ago and yeah. all of a sudden i was hearing a tremor and thought it was an earthquake going on and and i wasn't sure what i was listening to or hearing and then all of a sudden i left your home and you had these beautiful what, houses and whimsical things that you carved and I was just so surprised and and I want to know how you found this passion and why. Well first of all I'd like to say thank you very much that's yeah. very kind of you <laughs> I, you know I never thought I'd... Checks in the mail yeah, right? Yeah <laughs> I appreciate it it's wonderful. Well I, I, I retired recently in July mm -hmm. and I think I was getting under my wife's feet a little bit because mm -hmm. you got to find something to do so she came up with Hey, I found a uh, course in wood carving. Right. So I spent my career as an uh, as a carpenter. Yes. So I thought, well, that may be right up my alley. Working so with your hands, working right? Working with my hands mm -hmm. and tools and things I, I like. Yeah. And so I took the course, and I'm still actually taking uh, the course. I'm in part two of it right now. And I found out, uh, b to, to my disbelief, really, that I can do it. And I, I actually can do it quite well, and people seem to like my carvings. So um, I'm really going a little crazy with it as you can see up on yes, the table. Yeah, no, exactly. You had a table of 30, 40, 50 of them. Yeah, yeah. Even your wife said she doesn't know where to put them anymore. So um, I want to know why houses, uh, why not cats or dogs or other types of shapes and sizes of things? Why did you pick this particular? Well, that's kind of, um, I guess it, I just kind of fell into the house thing. Um, we started by doing simpler things like feathers and birds and, and small little animals, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, didn't float my boat, you know. Right. <laughs> so we started, we did one house, and this was the first one I believe I did. Right. And I thought, holy cow, that's not too bad, right? And I really enjoyed doing this because it's, it's a, a real creative process. So in doing um, little animals, for instance, you usually get a bandsaw cutout a rough cutout of the shape of the animal, like if it's a bear or a fish or, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of just round it over and put scales on it and stuff like that and it's call it done, right? Mm -hmm. But in this situation, I actually grab a piece of wood that's a just a raw piece. I find them down at the Fraser River. Mm -hmm. This is cottonwood bark and it floats down from possibly sumas, possibly um, Kamloops, I believe, there's a lot of cotton when it comes down the Fraser. So it gets washed up on the on the beaches. So I grab something like this and I can look at it and you let my imagination run wild. Like what does it look like to mm -hmm. you, right? So something like this, what 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 does your imagination tell you? Well, my imagination for this piece is this, this this one's been drying in my my uh, um, crawl space for um, about a month. It looks like a castle to me. So mm -hmm. I can picture the big turret of the castle some windows around the top, um, maybe uh, it gets a little wider here and, and some stairs, maybe some winding stairs coming up and, and uh, maybe this will be a tree coming off the side of it kind of thing. So it's just whatever your imagination uh, kind of can picture. And what I try to do, what I try to do is for instance on this particular piece, I try to keep the, the piece pretty much intact. So I, I don't want to just start with a square block of wood and, and do something out of that. Mm -hmm. I try to keep, so this is the original outside bark and it's obviously been weathered and, and whatever, but I try to keep that and, and instead of carving shingles, like some of them do have the shingles in them right. and stuff. Right, exactly. I found out that this kind of looks pretty cool. It's, it's yeah. like almost like a thatched roof or something. And so I, I enjoy that. I, I think that looks pretty neat. And then, um, you know, I just add things. Um, I try, I, I don't add a lot of things, but in, in this particular um, carving, my wife actually had a great idea. And she goes, why don't you carve some that would accommodate an air plant? You know, like, a, a, I'm not sure what they're called, the plants. Yes, So, yes. Mm -hmm. you know yeah, what I mean? And then right. you just miss them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I started mm -hmm. putting rocks on the side of mm -hmm. some of them so mm -hmm. we could actually attach an air plant to it. Mm -hmm. and, I like uh, that. That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's and a really it's, great idea. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. 
So you passed the time by doing this and um, we said that you were newly retired and you're picking up more hobbies because I'm sure there's a lot of people that have retired and don't really know what to do and get under their wife's feet, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Your words, not mine. Exactly. But, but exactly. Um, so what other things are you doing? And then we'll come back to, to carving in just a minute. But wh what other things are you taking up? Tell us. Well, I joined a snooker club in, in Port Moody. Right. Um, it's, it's for senior men. Uh -huh. and, or not senior men, I apologize, seniors. Seniors, So there's okay. a few few ladies that come. Yes. Um, and uh, we play snooker a few times a week. And it's at the Kyle Center, which is a one, wonderful place for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I enjoy that, and I'm getting better at it. You know, I had to buy a cue and, you know, the fancy cue at the case and the two-piece and the, all that kind of thing. But uh, it's a lot of fun, and they're very nice men, and they take it quite seriously, and uh, it's, it's great. It's another great hobby for me. Um, also, I do a lot of outdoor stuff. I'm a, I'm a really outdoorsy guy, so we do a lot of kayaking and, and we do a lot of hiking. And, and we're planning actually a bike ride this summer, uh, riding around PEI. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's 700 kilometers. Amazing. So, yeah, so we'll ride around. We did, actually, when we first retired last year, um, we got our bikes and we rode from um, just south of Edmonton. My folks are from a little town called Millet. Mm -hmm. um, and so we rode from, from there. And we tried to do the, the trail that crosses Canada, the, you know, the great trail that crosses Canada. And we rode our bikes across Alberta and across Saskatchewan and camped all the way in. And we had a great time with that, hitting little towns, going farm roads, going through the, the small little venues. It was just magic. I'm uh, glad that you're spending your time uh, valuably because I think one of the things that people are asked when they are on their deathbed, what do you think you wish you had more of? Yeah. And they say time. Exactly. You know, so you're really feeling, I feel like you're living your life like as much as you want to be and doing things that, uh, I, I, you told me you might be taking singing lessons. Now, yeah. have you ever sang before? No. No. So all of <laughs> so. these new uh, sort of passions, you might try, you might hate it, but at least you're trying it. That's my point. Yeah. yeah. I learned in a class um, that I took a while back that um, people kind of are afraid of doing things. And once you face your fears, it's a better life, I think, too. So mm -hmm. uh, singing lessons for me, you know, if you're at a birthday party or something, or even at an event and people are singing old Canada and you're kind of just mouthing the words, that's me, right? Yeah. So I thought, I don't want to do that anymore. You Why can be I learned to sing. Star. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. So uh, what the heck, eh? Go yes. and do something that you're uncomfortable doing. And who knows? Like, who knows? I didn't, I didn't have this in me. I, I never knew that I had a, a talent for art. I never would have called myself an artist. And all of a sudden, people are calling me an artist. And mm -hmm. it's just kind of, mm -hmm. my head is spinning. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a past president of the Port Moody Art Center, actually. And this would be an amazing display. Like, you should really get your work out there if that's something that you want to do. And I was going to ask you, going back to your wood carvings, what are some of your next steps? Are you just doing this for fun? And if you make a couple sales here and there, it's great. But yeah. like, or is, or do you really want to make this something a little bit larger? What are your thoughts? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure. Um, I was just carving for fun. Yeah. And and then. Yeah, but there and, are some price tags under here. So yeah, I there is. Seen them, so. I, uh, <laughs> and then Nancy goes, you gotta get doing something with these things, right? Like they're all over the house. Nancy, Every Nancy, <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> I know. So uh, I just thought, oh, you know what? I'll put some on Facebook Marketplace. So I put them yeah. on Facebook, and mm -hmm. and to my disbelief, they started to sell, right? And people were uh, contacting me constantly. Hey, we want to buy your stuff. One lady drove down from. Um, uh, Radium Hot Springs, and she bought two. Um, a, a lady that lives in Coquitlam here, she was a former nun. She came over and she bought one, and, oh, and wow. people seem to love them, right? So, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know if I'm filling a, a little void in in a, a something, but uh, I think they're like nostalgic. You know, they, it probably reminds them of something like in their past, or you know, maybe something that your um, carving looks like a, a memory of of something for them in some to some degree, because we do see some faces that you've done. Um, you also were telling me that with some of these smaller pieces um you uh you don't like waste right yeah exactly so what are you doing with those so i try to use them all so uh, carving the, the pieces of wood th this is actually quite a smaller piece okay some of these these trees are, are massive mm -hmm. so um some of these pieces of bark could be four inches thick and you know four feet long kind of mm -hmm. thing so you know i don't need them all some people do carve the whole thing it's not really my style maybe um so i do um try to uh, 
get the most I can out of a piece. So if I end up with small pieces, instead of just throwing away, I carve a little house. What the heck? You know, it's yeah. a little, like, like a little yeah. house. So are you taking any special kind of requests? Have you had someone say, hey, I love your work, but I don't want a house. Can you custom make me X? Actually, um, the first lady that come over, uh, she's my friend now, Ria, who, who was the former nun. She asked me to start doing some bigger pieces for her yard. So I says, yeah, well, I can give that a try and, and see how it goes. And yeah. if I can get some bigger pieces, I certainly will. And then another lady that bought a couple of my pieces, she was using them as a memorial in her backyard for her, her pet that passed away. And she had oh. this dog for 14 years and she was doing a memorial. So I said, maybe we can do something more doggish for you and I'll, I'll see what I can do and I'll contact you back. Yeah, well, that sounds so. good. And they're very light. Yeah, that, they that's are. What, yeah. That's what I like about them. They're very, very light, but, but cotton wood is. Cotton wood Co is. A yeah. piece of cotton wood is, is yeah. very, very And remember, light. this is just the bark, right? So, whoopsie. Whoopsie. Yeah. So um, another thing I've been doing is, is hollowing out the back so you can actually put little LED lights in them. And so uh, I thought maybe at Christmas time, people could do a little Christmas village on their tabletop or something and have it lit up and that would look quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, It's all about the marketing. You know, a lot of artists don't know how to market their things because they're not really salespeople. Yeah. And so they have all of these items and then they wait for art shows. Do you see this stuff being in an art show, your art? Do, do you think you might? I, I, honestly, can't, I just, I can't get my head around that. It, yeah. it's, it's all brand new for me. This is brand new for me. Um, I, I just don't see my, you know, myself like that. I don't picture myself like that, mm -hmm. but maybe. Well, maybe after your singing career, you, uh, yeah, know, you, you know, I mean, gosh, yeah. there's a lot of people that have sung well into their senior years and beyond, you know, there's yeah. always a first time for everything. Yeah. Um, where can people get a hold of you? You talked about Facebook Marketplace and is it under Mike Moore? Yeah, I, it is under Mike Moore. I, I, I think I put them under Whimsical Cottages. Okay. Um, they can also get me through my email, Mike G. Moore at hotmail.com. Okay, perfect. S send me a message that way and I can send them pictures. People are welcome to come to my studio to, to look at them and my studio is actually the foyer of our house. Your but, studio, <laughs> I'm not an artist. No, I know. I was going to see my head's getting bigger. But, <laughs> must uh, have been the intro. <laughs> it must have been the intro, yeah. But uh, surely it, that's what people have done, come to my house and have a look and I've got tons of them. So uh, mm -hmm. they're welcome to have a peek through and talk to me about, about the the carvings themselves or maybe stuff they'd like me to try and um, I, like I, you were saying I'm getting into newer things too I'm trying to do faces mm -hmm. so I'm not very good at them yet but I'm getting better and our class last night was doing eyes so um, it, it's actually quite complicated so I'm going to be getting better and better at that. Too. Well, it's really great to talk about doing new things and breaking out of your comfort zone. And that's exactly what Mike Moore told us today, a nearly retired uh, gentleman that is trying new things, whether it's snooker or carving these beautiful, whimsical um, cottonwood carvings made of houses and so much more. I'm asking you to do something out of your comfort zone um, and, and see what, what you might be passionate about. Um, it could be singing. It could be carving. It could be snooker. It could be so many different things. Um, so just, just just go ahead and try that. I'm Kathy Chana, Tri-Cities Community TV. Thank you so much for watching.